Okay, well today we are in Frederick, Maryland, and we are at the Goodwill. Uh, it's earlier than I normally get here, so hopefully that's good. Hopefully that means we're gonna find lots of treasures. But let's head in and see what we can find, buy and flip for a rug. Here we go. All right, we're gonna begin in the Halloween. Maybe we'll both find another fused glass Played, but that's kind of unlikely. <laughs> there is some textured glass down there. And what's that in the back? That looks interesting. Oh, it's got a chip on it. That's a shame. That's really pretty. I really love that. I mean, <laughs> there's me trying to justify another chip. It's on the underside, right? $3.50. I'm going to stick it in there. And then I might put it back at the end. We'll see. What is this? kind of fun but I feel like the kids would get really annoying with that very quickly well, I am heading back to the hard goods now it's a little bit crowded but what else is new right it looks interesting oh it's just plastic <laughs> a little excited for a minute let's see what we've got down here I spy the praying hands it's actually been a while since I've seen Dagny thinking of praying hands you know <laughs> it's kind of fun plastic Nemo wall, 8 inch, $6.99 originally. Here is a bookend. This looks like it's got some age to it. Is it marked at all? No markings on that. I wonder if it was a picture frame or if it was maybe a clock. It's only $2.49, but I don't know. I think I'll leave it back there is kind of fantastic. What is that? Is that Lennox? It is Lennox. <laughs> it's $9.49. The, the last large uh, metal piece I got by Lennox I still haven't sold, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Interesting. Kind of like the texture of that. And this is BBP. $4.49. Uh, BBP in general, I found, doesn't have the highest resale value, so that's probably about where it would be at. Interesting down here. I like the texture of them. I'm not really quite sure what they are, though. They just have a fun texture. Looks like it's Fitz and Floyd. <laughs> it has a lot of shipping on it. The flowers are in pretty decent condition. It is Fitz and Floyd. I think I'm going to skip it today, though, because it has that ship. And also, I have a bunch of Fitz and Floyd that I've been not listing, so <laughs> I need to really get that done. This is Woodbine Meadows. Compliments. Interesting. There's a few of them back there. I think it's a set. A few canisters. Not really seeing a whole lot today. It's a little bit sparse, but... Who knows, maybe it just takes that one thing to jump out at me and be like, oh my gosh, this just made my day. Here we are in the candle votives. It looks like they have a few yogurt containers there. Uh, I don't see anything though. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> All right, here we are in the glasses. Need like some glasses from Finland, maybe a little water for and just give me something. I guess today is not our day. Wait, what are these? These are kind of different. The always is full of clear glass. Over here we might find something though. What is this down here? Be a pineapple. Something Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. That is inspirational. Gotta be more like a pineapple. That looks interesting. It's here, but that's very large. I don't really feel like digging that out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh my goodness. $12.50. Let's get that out and take a closer look at it. It's also very large. It says Hogan's Keramik, Sweden. Hogan's Grill, right? Is that what it says? No, Gill. I don't know what that means. Huh. I 
am gonna have to look this one up. That's really fun. It's very large, but I believe we have a box that we have an 1818 uh, six box that that would probably fit in. Um, before I take a moment to look that up and try to walk around here to find a signal. <laughs> I noticed this down here is very pretty. What is this? It's very scratched up. It was well loved. It is marked Follette on the bottom. I have bought and sold this pottery before, I believe. I'm gonna have to do a little search on that one as well because I don't recall. I just recognize that signature. It is pretty bad, but I don't know. A lot of you have suggested barkeepers, friend. I'm not sure if that would work. Andrew's gonna love all the platters, let me tell you. Pretty mug. That is heritage. Thought that was an art pottery mug, but it is not. What are these? Are those creatures in there? What is that thing? Oh, it's a, there you go. Those are his eyes. It's like a little uh, dinosaur or something. Just took a moment to register. Oh, I did it, but I was able to get a signal here. Apparently the artist is Kent Follett, American Pottery. Um, I'm just scrolling through here. I mean, it's your extended car warranty, let me tell you. Um, oh, okay, so he makes crystalline. That's probably why I recognize the name. I think I've had the crystalline pieces before. Um, here is a similar um, thing that is probably comparable. So I'm not going to mess around with that. I am going to look up this other platter. Um, and I guess we should probably stay in this exact spot where I got the signal. So here are two platters by that same company. Very different though. These are like a redware. Um, obviously this is not, but it has a similar folk art look to it. Um, you can see that one sold for 30 and one sold for 55 I think I'm going to be pretty safe on this at $12.50. So I am going to take that with me. Um, I want to check out what they have hiding under here. Come here, you. Alright, I'm going to have to move this. We'll move this up here. What is that platter? That is Schmitz of Philadelphia. I'm gonna use that as a cutting board. But every time I find these, they're always broken. This one obviously had some additional baskets and whatnot. That's a shame. She's missing her hand. I picked those up last week. A moment of deja vu. <laughs> kind of really love this pattern. <laughs> $7.50. And uh, I think the color today is blue, so um, that's not gonna help me any. Temperware by Lennox. Floral Fantasy. There is a set of four here, and I just noticed they also have some of the smaller plates. But I'm just not sure. There's a lot of scratching on those, and for that price, that seems like it might be cutting it close to resale. Alright, so I'm going to check out the lamps real quick. It looks to be about the same selection as last week. 1970s, I'd say. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is this a sewing? Oh my gosh, it is. I think this is for sewing, right? It has all, it even has like a little key in there. This is cool. I'm gonna move this over. It matches that console right there. Let's see, I wanna see what, if this lifts up or not. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is so much fun. Sewing machine is long gone though. What does that say? Nantucket home. Oh man, at first I thought it was maybe gonna be bleak. Apparently not. Harvest Green Studio, designed in England. So the first time I walked through here, I apparently missed these guys. Those are a lot of fun. Family watching a band. It looks to be in decent condition. There is a set of four there. I'm not sure if these would be Pilsner or iced tea glasses, but I'm gonna take those with me. They're so fun. <laughs> and they look to be in decent condition. Um, you can tell because the graphic on them is, is good. It's not faded, like they've been run through the dishwasher a lot. In the back look like they could be interesting. They're at uh, Shamrock's. I wonder if those are Irish, uh, oh look, <laughs> there's 
There's damage. I was gonna. I was kind of wondering if they were for Irish coffee. Taking a closer look here in the glasses. I did notice these down here, and I thought they were interesting, but I just wasn't sure. They kind of remind me of um, Finland glass. There's a, there's a certain pattern, and I can't remember it, but it has these like whimsical looking dandelion things on it. I don't think that's what this is, though. I think it's me to look back like that. This looks like it's vintage for two dollars and forty nine cents. I think that's just like a decorative wool thing. I don't know if I need that. Oh, this has an owl on it. <laughs> I saw one of these not long ago at the um, local Goodwill, and that one had a bird on it. But this one's broken. I'm not gonna mess with that. There's some butcher block down here. I imagine that was probably pretty spendy when it was first purchased. I've got 9.49 on it. I think it needs to be refinished though. I don't know much about that. That is adorable. It has a tag on the bottom. What does it say? Talbot's. Interesting. Talbot's sugar. And I don't know if maybe that's the creamer? I'm not sure. No, that's it. Made in Italy for Talbot's. Huh. Never seen that before. I wonder if it's worth anything. Might have to look that up if I can. This is cool. It's a shame that the lid is missing. This one, mm, this is made in Portugal. I think they usually sell a lot of this at TJ Maxx. I bought a green set for my mom once that had um, bunnies on it for Easter. I don't know if this one would be worth any money. It's blue, it's a little bit different. What is that in the back? Is that German? I suspect it's German. Let's look. No markings on the bottom. Eh, I think I'll leave it. This is fun just because of the graphics. <laughs> One syringe, six tubes. I did look up that Tala icing set. Um, this one is a little bit more, um, it has 11 attachments. I think that one only had six. So it looks like it sells for about $8. It's funny though, because if you're not sorting by sold, it's showing people asking like $80 for those. So in this case, it's good that you talk all to sold to see what they're selling for. I decided to venture over into the textiles and I noticed this. That is super fun. Can't tell if it's vintage or if it's just made to look vintage. And I'm not quite sure what exactly it is. It's got these snaps on it. It's really fun fabric. Let's see. Is there a tag on there? It's $12.50. Oh, you know what? This is a sleeping bag. <laughs> That's a fun sleeping bag. I can't tell if it's vintage or not though. We are in the stuffed animals and I just happened to notice this bear's wooden feet. And I knew we've got a rake spare. It's a nurse spare. All right, my phone is ringing. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Um, I don't normally look in the toy section, so I just thought, you know what, let's check it out. It does have a number on it. It's 2,335 out of 7,500. There's a little bit of wear on the mouse, but it's not terrible. Break spares. She's pretty cool for 10 bucks. I'm going to go check out the purses, and then if there's still no new card, I think I'm going to get out of here and maybe head to the next Goodwill. So let's see what we can find over here in purses. I like that. That looks like it wants to be Whiting and Davis. Let's check it out. Is it? This is something else. This is a pre nights made in China. And it actually has a broken strap, so don't think we're gonna mess with that. Gosh, they have so many purses, it's a lot to take in. It's got like studs on it. Universal thread. Love all the colorful Vera's, but I don't need any more of those. <laughs> it's a little scuffy. All right. Maybe I should grab these shoes for later. It is my birthday. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, on that note, I think I'm going to move on to the next Goodwill. 
I don't see any signs of the new cart coming out and I want to keep moving because I want to visit an antique mall later. So let's get out of here. Okay, well that was exciting to find that rakes bear hiding in the toy section. I mean, technically it is a stuffed animal, so that's probably where it was meant to be, but I wasn't expecting it. I was like, ah, oh, it's just gonna be a bunch of stuffed animals, but we'll give it a peek. Um, there was no new cart, but that's okay. Um, I got there earlier than I normally do, so I just have to plan things better. Maybe I need to leave later. But my total spend was, $40. It was $40 and something cents, um, but we did pretty good. I'm excited for those glasses. Uh, they kind of have a fun theme to them, and uh, that platter I think is going to do well. So I'm going to move on now from this Goodwill. I think I'm going to scoot on down the road, um, and I think maybe I'll take you guys with me. So I'm going to buzz through here relatively quickly because I still want to make it to the antique mall before they close, and it's already 3.30, so... We'll see what we can find, but we won't dilly-dally. Mm, this is nice. This matches the teapot that I bought the other day. Look at those precious moments. <laughs> those are cute. Interesting. I guess those are vases, possibly. I'm not seeing much. It looks like there is an art glass piece back here. $7.49. That's probably a um, home goods thing. This is Francoma. They've got $4.49 on that. It's not marked on the bottom though, so maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. I, I'm feeling Francoma on that just because of the glaze. I do see a giant crack though, so no thank you. Here looks interesting. There is Bjorn Winblad, but it has chips on it. That's a shame. $3.40. See ya! That's such a shame. That's a really fun design. Tea party. Gosh. Tea for two. Oh man. Decisions? Decisions. I don't know. That's something I might keep for myself. <laughs> I would say that and I'm like, you know what? I have too much stuff. But I just love that design. It's so sweet. There's green squirrel Pyrex here. Already checks it with black light, it does not glow. It's interesting. What is this thing? Is it a monk? It's funny. I feel like the last time I found one similar to this, it had like math scribbled on the bottom of it, and this one kind of does too. I guess maybe he's a priest. He's got the cross there. It's carved from wood. It's a bookend? No, I think it's just a figurine. Ooh. $15.49, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. His eyebrow is broken though. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, kinda like this canister, but it's broken there on the lid. I think all I'm gonna end up with today is a little Bjorn Windblad, but that's not the end of the world. Missing a lid. Oh my gosh! That is so cool! Gotta be on the hunt for his tail now. That's probably why he was donated. <laughs> A little bit of glass. This looks like it's Polish with that bubble in the bottom. There's a lot of chipping around the edge though. And this guy here isn't worth much. I believe this is Indiana. It's $6.50. Fruit bowl. I like to check out the furniture when I'm here because they get some really cool furniture coming through here. Same with the um, Wonkersville Goodwill. What is that thing? A little bit curious. It's a hat. <laughs> it's a gift gallery hat. Interesting. Kind of fun. I think you put a candle in there, but I don't know how the candle would get any oxygen <laughs> if you put the cloche on it. browsing through here one last time. Those look like they kind of want to be um, Jim Shore, but they're not. This guy is adorable. What is going on here? He looks like he's made in Japan. He's probably an incense thing. $2.49. He's cute. He can go in there. We have a cute little tea light. It is Lennox. 
um, American by design, which means it was not made in the USA, um, but it was designed in the USA. Creamer, what is that? Close, hand painted. I'm not familiar with that. It is very pretty though. What Klaus is? It almost looks like hand painter. To look up Klaus hand painted, which is what the mark is on the bottom, and these two showed up. And it looks like it sells for about 30 bucks, this little creamer. So that's pretty great. I think maybe I'll take that with me. There doesn't appear to be, well, actually, I take that back. There might be a little bit of a an older chip there on the edge, but um, it's not a deal breaker, I don't think. I do wish we could find something that's not broken today, but we're not going to. This is kind of neat. What is this? Hmm. Is it a menorah? I don't know. <laughs> it's $20, whatever it is. I realize I completely neglected this entire row, and this is actually where I usually have the most luck. So I should probably just check this out. See if I can find anything. Those are kind of cute, those little cups. A few Irish coffees um, over here. That's interesting, Bermuda Islands. And I kind of like these with the hearts on them, but I just get the sense that they're not very old. So anyway, staring down the aisle, and I noticed this weird thing on the wall, and I feel like I have to just go see what it is. Okay, <laughs> my curiosity is satisfied. Oh look. Be a, be a pineapple. Stand tall. Wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. That's the second time I've seen that today. Take this one with me. <laughs> I just stood here for a moment staring up at it and I'm like, you know what? That might look neat in my old farmhouse. I don't think that's hand painted. It's neat. This is $2.49. There's tulips on it. There is a chip. All right, so today was just not our day, I guess. Is that marked? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to head out of here now and I'll catch up with you guys in the car. Caught my eye because I thought, you know what, that looks like pretty reasonable quality. And uh, it says Abby Hallandale, Florida, made in USA or al algae, or I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. It's an adult small, but I think Juliet might be able to fit in it. So I'm definitely going to grab that for her. That might be fun to wear for Halloween or possibly to the Renaissance Fair. I think she'll, she'll like that very much. I don't see much else though. All right, almost to the checkout. Okay, well my total spend there in Walkersville Goodwill was $39. Was 39 bucks um, and I think that we did pretty well I mean that thing the thing behind me was $20 so considering I got that little creamer I got the Bjorn Winblad bowl both you know have potential condition issues but I got them so cheap I'm not too worried um, and then of course that little incense burner so it wasn't the best trip but I got a few cool things so uh, I'm gonna get out of here now I think I'm gonna go try to hit up an antique mall, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed.